All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about the break keyword. Now, the break keyword pretty much allows you to end your loop early. So why would you ever want to end a loop early? And I'll give you guys a really simple example, even though you probably would never use this in real life. Say you made a program to guess a number from 1 to 100. So it started looping through 1, 2, 3, counting, and the number that it needed to guess was 14. Well, once it got to 14 and it got the right answer, there's no need to continue the loop because you already achieved your mission guessing the number 14. So it pretty much saves your program time and resources by ending it early. So even though that loop was capable of looping all the way to 100, we stopped it early because we're good programmers. And it's actually really easy to see if I just build a simple program. So let me go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need is a couple variables. In A, that's just going to be the counter. And for this sample, I'll make a for loop. You can actually use this break statement with any kind of loop, while, do while. But a for loop is going to be really easy to see what's going on. So next thing we need is a variable called how many. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to allow the user to enter a number how many times we want this loop to loop and that's what how many is going to be and the last variable is max amount and we'll set this equal to 10 actually let's go ahead yeah we'll set it equal to 10 why not and the max amount is how many times the loop is going to loop by default so by default it loops 10 times however if the user enters something else it's going to break early so now what we need to do is give them a little prompt on the screen so they know what the heck they're doing so how many times do you want this loop to loop they probably know what we're talking about even though loop to loop they get it you know and we'll say up to 10 all right and actually another thing i want to do is this i don't even want to add a new line because i think it would be cool if they enter um, their answer right to the right of that. So scan F and we need to scan it in, which is of course percent D. And where are we going to store that? Ampersand, how many? So what they did right now is they're going to type in the number and it's going to be stored in this variable, how many? So let's go ahead and build the default loop, which is this four. And we start at 1, and we'll set it less than or equal to max amount. So like I said, by default, this loop is going to occur 10 times. Of course, just increment it by 1, not getting fancy here. And what's this loop going to do? Let's just do something stupid like print it out on the screen. So we'll print out whatever iteration is on, percent %D, and might as well bump it to a new line be a little easier to see what's going on all right so again by default it's gonna loop 10 times let's see if it's working right now how many times do you want to loop let's just say two enter it loops 10 times okay so we need to add something into our program to say hey you need to check this number right here because I told you to loop two times and you loop 10 times stupid program so let's go ahead and do that and in order to do that you need to add this statement right after the print so just add an if conditional and say okay if this number right here whatever loop you're on is equal to whatever number they entered which was how many then break the loop now what break the loop is going to do is it pretty much says okay what loop is occurring well it's this loop right here the for loop so I'm gonna stop that and then just continue on to the rest of the program which is pretty much just end the program return zero so now let me run this and hello what are you doing actually let me give myself a little more space so how many times do you want to loop this loop well I only want to loop it five times so hit enter and there we go one two three four five so basically 
it got to this loop and it says okay so I'm running this loop 10 times because a is less than 10 so I'm gonna run one two three four five but then it got to that five and it said okay I have to check this right now F is five equal to the amount they entered well yes it is so I'm gonna break out of this loop and again what break means is pretty much discontinue this loop stop it so that's why it it never hit six seven eight nine or ten because we broke out of that before it can continue with the rest of the loop now another thing I want to mention is this what if the user enters a number above 10 like 26 well again this only loops 10 times because it never uh, hits this conditional right here right here a is only equal to 1 through 10 so it's never equal to 26 so this loop never gets broken so that's a way that we can have the user enter a number and of course they understood the rules up to 10 they didn't follow them so they got all 10 so hopefully you guys understand the break statement pretty much whenever you want to end a loop early or discontinue it just give it the break statement and well that ends the loop simple stuff thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time